Today we are checking out a new way to learn Figma. Videos and lessons are fine, but how about learning Figma inside Figma? Doesn't it sound cool? Well, these tools and resources will help you learn step by step and will guide you through the tool itself. Some of these are powered by artificial intelligence, so let's just check them out. Okay, so the first resource is called Bfront and it allows you to practice Figma. Essentially, it gives you instructions on certain things that you can do on screen inside Figma. And once you finish a task, it checks if the task is correct or wrong and it corrects you there. As a bonus, it also gives you things like quizzes, examples, etc. So that in between these lessons, you are able to also learn things like theory and principles. Let me quickly show you how it works inside Figma. As I open this plugin from inside Figma, it gives me various courses that they have prepared. There's a basic course, there are five UX UI don'ts. If I look at the basic course, it allows you to start it from right here and it expands to kind of give you theory first. It will ask you to do certain things on screen. So the first instruction is to create a frame and name it frame. Create a frame right here with iPhone SE and we are going to rename this to frame. Once we've done this, it automatically shows a tick mark here. That means our task is completed. How cool is this? It keeps on checking each step or instruction and then you can move on to the next lesson. This is a really cool way to learn Figma because it's not, it's not, you're not watching anything but doing something on screen and after you're doing something, it is giving you, it is telling you if it's right or wrong. I think it's a, I think this is one of the best ways to learn Figma. You have various options that are listed at the bottom. There is training where various tiny lessons are there. So for every type of design, there will be tiny lessons. And as you keep on doing these exercises, entire progress will be shown here. So as you can see, I've completed 3% of the Figma basics course now. Now a very big topic inside Figma is called design systems, how to create and build design systems, how to use design systems, etc. Just like Bfront, Figmaster is also teaching you inside Figma, tests you on your practical knowledge. So you're doing these things inside Figma and it tells you if you're doing it right or wrong. They even have a workbook to go with this. So if you want to read separately and you want to learn from the book, you can do that as well. Super duper easy to use. I just open it inside Figma as a plugin. It opens this lesson file. So everything is pre-prepared pre and ready for you. And once you are ready with the file, you just click on start lesson and it gives you detailed instructions on what to do. So every step it is guiding you and they've also given you the relevant summary as well as keyboard shortcuts for each command that they have asked you to do. This is another great way to learn through visual examples with, with of course, a step-by-step -step guide that is given alongside this visual example. Now this next one isn't exactly in Figma, but I just had to show it to you guys. It's called the Figma Handbook. And this has one of the best structures that I've seen in a long time. Each part of this is basically a text-based explanation and step-by-step -step guide on how to do something. It has a lot of different theories included as well as refers to resources. So if it is asking you to do something, it might have a resource tied into it. It has very clean labeled diagrams for every little thing. So it is explaining to you why something is being done and not only just the design. As you complete one entire page, which is one lesson, you can move on to the next lesson from here, which will give you the second part of the course. Now with the premium version, you get all the assets, videos, subtitles, and even a digital handbook. The cool thing is this is a certified one as well. So you can create an account on this and get a certificate as well. Now coming back to Figma, this is called Figma Tips by Roji. And I've mentioned this one or two times before as well, but this is a fantastic way to learn through video content, which plays inside Figma. So you can do things side by side and you don't have to search for YouTube. How it works is actually quite simple. It opens up and there are various categories you can choose from. So you have auto layout, components, fig jam, variants, design systems, whatever you are looking for, you'll have various lessons over here. So if I want to check out variants and how to use variants for prototyping, 
I just drag out this lesson into my Figma file and it opens a video lesson right here inside Figma. It is a cool way to watch videos inside Figma. And it's also great that everything is organized in a neat format and you can even do things like search for your favorite topic. This is a little Figma hack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you guys on how you can access lessons that teachers who are teaching Figma, experts who are teaching Figma, are using. So these are actual full-fledged lessons that are given right here with quizzes, assets, resources, and step-by-step -step guides. For example, you want to learn the tree map diagram process. This could be for anything, information architecture, affi affinity mapping, whatever it is. If I open this file up, it will have an entire explanation. So guides for each of these steps on how to do these and ready-made diagrams, etc., ready for you to start practicing with. This is the education account of Figma, which a lot of people don't know about. Again, this is something that teachers and educators and colleges, schools use. So this is our little secret. I'm gonna share this only with you guys. Similarly, there is another platform called Figma Product Education. So this is what Figma is using internally in their organization to educate companies about their products. So if they approach a company like Google, they will tell them, okay, this is what's cool with our product with Figma. Now they have dedicated lessons right here and each lesson is tagged Figma Learn. And as you can see, it has ready-made components for you to check out. And it also links you to any tutorial, video, etc., that you are required to do. It links you to any other linked resources that you might require for this project. It's such a cool way to start learning Figma. And this is another page that not a lot of people are aware of. Now, as a bonus, I also wanted to give you guys instructions on how you can utilize an AI tool like ChatGPT or Bing to actually learn Figma step by step. So a great way is to first tell ChatGPT what it is. So type in something like you are a Figma expert and are here to teach me the, to, the tools in detail. Now, as it says, absolutely, I'd be happy to help you get started with Figma. Now it gives you a basic overview of all the very basic things that you must understand from a tools perspective. You can ask it for a certain a certain step-by-step -step guide on a certain part of Figma. So if you want to learn how to build components and variants inside Figma, let's see how we can do that. Now I want to learn how to build components. Give me a step-by-step -step guide and help me out. Based on context now, ChatGPT will give you specific instructions and step-by-step -step guides on how you can do certain things. This is what it's picking from what is already available on the internet, so you can actually trust it with what it's telling you using the free version of ChatGPT. So if you're on the free version, you can do the same thing. Okay, so guys, that is it for today's wonderful video. If you liked it, make sure you hit the thumbs up. I post such amazing content every single week. So subscribe to keep yourself updated and hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss out on these amazing updates. I'll see you next time. Until next time, take care. God bless.